Has the ball. Get some ball movement.
This is really what I said before. This is what March is about. Guys like Peter Hooley, who you may not have heard about all season long, coming to the forefront, getting their one shining moment, if you will, and making the most of it. This is an incredible story. This is a great story, regardless of the month, the day, the year. Uh, Peter Hooley left the basketball team in January to spend, it sounds like, according to Bob Picozzi, who's calling the game for us, around a little less than two weeks uh, with his mother, Sue, by her bedside as she was dying of cancer, was essentially home for a month and off the team for that long. She ended up dying at the age of 52. Comes back to the team. Albany gets a chance to host this tournament, and the ball just bounces out to him. Fortuitously, it's just right there, yep. and he hits the shot. I mean, this is an incredible story, a great moment, not just for Peter, but as you saw for his sister, the whole Albany community. Uh, I don't know if we're going to top a moment like this when we get to the NCAA tournament in terms of emotion, just raw emotion, just a great, great moment uh, for him and for his family. He was the most outstanding player of last year's America East Championship. I think this one's going to go down as being just a little bit more memorable. They've got to go quickly, though. They've got to get it on the attack, going to the rim. Sanders, drive for the tie. No good. Rebound comes out to Hooley for the win. 1.6 left. Albany by one. Pure boy is stripped. And Albany is going to the NCAA tournament for the third consecutive year. Sometimes offense by accident is the best offense and getting it up on the rim. Stony Brooks crashing the ball boards and the presence of mind to tip the ball back out to Peter Hooley and you knew when the game was on the line that man was going to be involved in some way, somehow, Albany found a way to win. Unbelievable. Well. You just can't write a script like this. We told you the story in the first half. Peter Hooley's a young man from Australia. Before he came to Albany, his mom, Sue, was diagnosed with cancer. That was four years ago. On January 17th of this year, he got a phone call from his dad. His mom's condition took a turn for the worse. Peter went home. He sat by his mom's bed in the hospital for 16 hours a day for 13 straight days. On January 30th, Sue Hooley died at the age of 52 of cancer. He came back to school. It takes a village to get over something like that, and he has been surrounded by the love and support not only of his teammates, but the entire...